Hey, it's Ben here from Wide Open, and I've just picked up the 2019 Canyon Stripe. Which is their new long travel 29er, and with this model packing 170 at the front and 150 at the back. So first of all, we'll have a little talk about the angles. Um, it's a little conservative with a 66 degree head angle at the front. Now that's in the downhill mode and can be changed. I'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, we've also got a 470 reach in the size large, which I think is, is pretty much bang on uh, what I would like for a size large. And then we've got a 435 chain state. Geometry can be adjusted as well as the travel using this here. So this is called the shape shifter that Canyon have been knocking about with for a few years now. And this is their latest version. And what it does when I press the lever, Ta -da. <laughs> this um, this little thing pushes out here basically. So this is charged up with air. You pump it up with your shock pump. It pushes forward, and what happens is it steepens the head angle, raises the bottom bracket, reduces the rear travel to one three five, and what you get is a, a better uh, climbing position. And they also say that you can use it for maybe flatter flow trails and things like that, where it's a bit more pumpy. You don't want all the travel. So kit wise, we're rocking the Lyric up front. We've got the new Charger damper on that and the RockShox Super Deluxe out back there. Um, yeah, both solid performers and I've got no doubt that they're gonna be really decent oh. on this bike. It's rolling on some pretty fancy Mavic wheels. And these are the new D-Max, um, complete with a yellow spoke in case you can't find the hole, okay, to put the air in. Um, and then it's running on a pair of Minions, okay, with the 3C um, compounds, so pretty grippy. Uh, both on the EXO casing, you know, it's a big bike designed for World Series and everything, it'd be a shame. I, I personally spec double downs at least on the rear, but it's one of those. So, the group set then is a full SRAM XO1 Eagle, um, carbon cranks and, and it's nice to see the little touches like it comes with the rubber crank boots and talking of little touches this frame although I'm only in my second ride is really quiet because you know you've got things like this really nice squishy rubber guide here the internal cable routing is really neat and it's just like glides along the trail nicely uh, other kit we've got reverb and you'll see that interestingly the reverb lever is mounted on here into the same a lever assembly as a shapeshifter and this is new for this year um, and feels it feels pretty good to start with I'm not looking forward to bashing my knee on it as I probably will one time soon but we'll see how it goes um, and then to round it off we've got the guide uh, sorry the code RSC and last summer I rode codes all year all summer and into the winter and they were amazing they're my new favorite brake and the RSC with the adjustable bike point of thing is just a wicked piece of kit. So my early impressions are that it's yeah, it's pretty nimble for the size and travel of the bike. It wants to change direction. Um, obviously, I've still got some work to do to really get used to the bike and to get it set up bang on. But yeah, I've got no reason to doubt that this is going to be a, a real pinner of a bike.